Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be looking at Look Dev Studio, which is the new beta or prototype from Unity, and it's for any level of artist to bring in models, textures, and things like that, and be able to look, debug, visualize, and do things within that. And today we're going to look at the secrets behind what that actually means for you, how to install it how to import a model and what we need to know about it. If everybody could give a like to this video, that would be so awesome. So thank you so much. So before you get started, you need to realize you will need Unity 2021.2 with their beta three or above. And at current time of recording, I've got beta six. So you need to make sure that that's installed. And this is only available in HDRP. And I hope that Unity will have support for URP and the standard render pipeline. What is LookDev Studio and what can it do for you? So like I said, if you're an artist and you're trying to import an asset, you might want to render out a turntable or an orbit camera or render it in engine to show for a portfolio or to be able to author or look at your textures on your model within Unity without trying to sort of squeeze it down in the bottom and look at it in the inspector and does it look okay? It's a way to look at your assets full screen in the inspector soloed out with different environments so you can debug visualize so I'll put a link in the description for you to check out the thread which will show you how to install import and do everything like that but I'll show you this in this video so how to get started you need to click on this link about halfway down the page to directly download the zip from their github once that you click that it will download 600 megabytes worth of content and then it will download a zipped folder and we need to make sure we go to unity hub go to our installs and make sure that we've got 2021 point two point zero and then beta three or above you can go to add and you can go to the bottom there and it should be the pre-release beta whatever's available right now then what you can do is you can click add with the add button find where you've extracted that look dev project and then it will appear in your projects panels like here make sure that you choose the new unity version or the beta version and click on it to launch it now i did have an issue with launching it the first time i made sure that i restarted my computer and then Avast did actually update and, and complained about malware. But I just pressed allow and then it opened look dev nice and easy. Units do say depending on the speed of your computer, you may need to wait up to 15 minutes to open the project itself. But it was only about five minutes for me or maybe less. And I'll put a little GIF on the screen for you to be able to pause and look at the different things. So we've got a hierarchy up in this top corner. We've got the inspector down the left here. We've got the just the object preview in, in the scene view just in the center here. We've got the settings panel on this left hand side. We've got the quick controls up here which can change our presets for the HDRI map that we may use. And then we've got the assets tab and it may take some time for these assets to appear. It works in pretty much the same way as you would expect apart from the settings you can use. The first one is an orbit camera so you can orbit around your actual character or object or you can have a turntable which is similar where your character will move around similar to that you can actually be able to enable fog which will fog out your background you can enable the hdr sky if you want to be able to see it you can show the ground i think it can make things look slightly more realistic and you can actually make sure that you move the object to the ground if you want your character or your object to be sat there and you can also save the camera position and load it and you can also adjust the rotation of the light down here or use shift alt and move to do that you can press this little camera button and it will create a screenshot which will appear in your in your project folder in the screenshots folder on this side we have all our assets which are filtered by material texture and model and what we need to do is say i want a different object i'll just drag this refrigerator in she's just been eaten by a refrigerator now we can go to the hierarchy we can disable as we would normally and now the refrigerator is the main object in the scene again we can change our hdri map and the settings or the lighting will be updated and we can again be able to look around our asset to see if it feels right in unity and we could select our material and be able to do adjustments as we would directly in unity to be able to affect how it may look and the next thing you're going to say to me is, Matt, how do I actually import something in? And I go, well, isn't that a magical question? But no, uh, what I'm going to show you is this is in Substance Painter and people can skip on to actually importing their asset if you've got it set up for HDRP. So I'm in Substance Painter and everybody loves a pizza box because all pizzas in general are beautiful, aren't they? So anyway, you can go to, if you're in Substance Painter, File, Export Textures. And if you're in a modern version of Substance Painter, you can choose where your 
item is going to be saved. I'll make a new folder called pizza and I'm going to select my output template as the, the Unity HD render pipeline as metallic standard. And you can choose what resolution you want to set it at. So I might set it at 2K and I'm just going to press export and it's going to export my text just for me. We can go back into look dev and you can see that now you can click the import button at the top, but that'll make us import everything separately. So we can just get into the folder that we've got our textures and model folder in and just drag that straight into the scene because we can just drag multiple things in at once if we do that. Now you until say, do you want to use the texture allocator? You can press yes if you want to, and it'll, it will generate a preview for us to prepare the imported texture. And you may need to adjust this. Remember, that you can adjust the material in the left hand side in the inspect without using this output and it nearly got everything right so it's put my base color my mask map and my normal map into the slots that i wanted i can close it again if you select your materials i'm just going to type pizza because i've got the pizza box material there you can see i've clicked on it i get a preview of it i'm just going to minimize that and if i pull this element out slightly you can see just like we would in HDRP we've got the base color mask map and normal map and we can go to all and I can because I filtered by pizza and I can just drag my pizza box into my scene but it was already there because we dragged it in so I can get rid of my duplicate and now we've got my beautiful pizza box in unity and we can do all the things that we did before so you can rotate where the lighting should be and if we want our dynamic beautiful look of our pizza box in a different environment we can do that and we can check it out within unity and make sure that yeah i think it looks good in all the different lighting scenarios we may want a, a little screenshot to go with it so if we put it in the light we just press the little screenshot and it'll go to our game tab but we can go to our back to our scene tab and then what we can do is we can right click and if we right click it and show in explorer if we're going to look dev and we go to screenshots you can see that now my pizza box is there in all its glory in however way you want it to be rendered so this is a way that you can take a look at all your different assets that you have you can apply your turntable if you want to get a little recording of this spinning around whatever it may be remember you still have all the options to manipulate it with the rotation so we can just you know we could put a really funky style on it and have it like so so i hope this went through the basic setups details to be able to create different things within LuckDev for unity and if you do need to go back at any point to unity itself it's not actually prepared for professional use yet but you can go look at the top and click return to unity at any point and it will have this in your scene like it would be and you just enable it to solo on that particular asset. So I hope this helped you out. Do let me know if you've got any tips, tricks and what you've used it for and I'd love to see some screenshots from you and I'd love it if everybody could check out my Patreon if you want scripts, projects and to be able to support everything I do on the channel. Be sure to come and join my Discord if you want to chat. Check out my fantastic assets on the Unity Asset Store and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.